Hi there, welcome to day two of the Ask for Everything Challenge. I'm so proud of you already. All of the things that you guys have been posting in the Facebook group, hello, amazing. So I wanted to talk a little bit about mindset in depth because no doubt the work that you did on day one prompted some pretty negative mean girl thoughts in your mind. And never fear, I'm gonna teach you how to be your own life coach. I'm gonna teach you a mindset strategy called Self Coaching 101, and it's like turning you into your own magic genie in your mind. So, here's what we've got. Um, let's say when you started working on crafting your ask for day one, your mind started shouting really negative things at you like, this is stupid, no one cares, you're terrible at asking. Here's the thing, the human mind is actually programmed to try to keep us safe. So there's nothing wrong with you if you notice that you were thinking negative thoughts, but I'm gonna teach you how to use your mind instead of letting your mind use you. So let's get started. So the circumstance, which is, could be um, you had a car accident, your kid's sick, uh, you lost some money. Yesterday's circumstance was Susan Hyatt made me craft a request. Whatever the circumstance is, they're always happening in the world. And these are things that we can prove, right? So the circumstance that we're dealing with is I worked on a request. Now, that circumstance caused your mind to issue a bunch of negative impulses called thoughts. I used to think that I had to believe everything that I thought, and it was like winning the actual lottery when I realized that I was something outside of my thoughts. I was not my thoughts. And I also didn't have to believe everything that I was thinking. Let that sink in. You are not your thoughts. When you observe them, what are you? Something much bigger than a thought. And just because you're thinking it doesn't mean it's true. So let's continue with our example. So you worked on a request and your mind said, I suck at this. <laughs> I don't know, oh, look at my exclamation point. I don't know anyone who's learning how to successfully make an ask who doesn't feel awkward at first before they learn how to do it. Um, so I suck at this might be something that you thought. What happens when we think a negative thought like this is that it then creates a feeling state in our body. A physical vibration happens whenever we think any kind of thought, right? So when you're thinking something like, I suck at this, the feeling state that came up for you was what? Now, I'm imagining if I think I suck at this, I might feel scared or hopeless oops, or irritated. Maybe throw in some overwhelm, some frustration, right? So the circumstance, which is totally neutral, I worked on a request, that then caused your brain to issue a negative impulse, which might be something like, I suck at this. <laughs> and when you think something like, I suck at this, that creates a vibration in your body, an emotional reaction, a feeling state. Could be scared, hopeless, irritated. You write down on your paper what came up for you. Then when we feel this way, that causes us to behave a certain way. So we either take action or withdraw, don't take action, based on this feeling state. So I can imagine if I'm sitting at my desk, how I was when I was working on my book proposal, thinking the thought, oh, I suck at this, and then feeling scared and irritated, then what happens? Could be a variety of things. Could be um, that you just don't send your pitch. So you don't send it. Or if you're feeling scared when you craft it, 
then you might put something together that doesn't work well, that doesn't land well, because the energy all around it is all wonky, right? But by and large, usually if you're thinking, I suck at this, I don't know how to do it, and you're feeling scared, hopeless, and irritated, then you don't do the thing. You don't make the ask at all. And then the result is you don't get it, right? You don't get it. Then when we have a negative result that we don't like, what our brain loves to do is use that as evidence that it was right. My crew behind the camera told me earlier, you just want people to agree with you, <laughs> which is true. We all want to be right and we all want everyone to agree with us. That's the ego, right? So the circumstance was I worked on a request, the thought I suck at this, that creates feeling states that are negative, which then creates action that's not effective, which then gives us this life result that our brain then wants to go see. I was right. I do suck at this because I didn't get it. So here's the trick with self-coaching 101. Coming up with replacement thoughts that help you change this result, right? So if you want to keep not getting what you want, just keep doing this spin cycle. But I know that you're here because you want to create change. I know that you're here because you want a different result. I know that you're here because you want to make successful asks and get it, right? So if you want to get it, what would you need to think that's different than I suck at this? And that's where we come up with a replacement thought. So the trick with a replacement thought is you have to believe it and it has to shift your mood even slightly. So we could come up with something like, um, I'm learning how to get better at this. So right, like if you're sitting at home watching this or maybe you're on your commute or in your office, can we agree that you're here to learn, right? So this is true. I'm learning how to get better at this. Instantly, that creates a different physical vibration in your body, probably some hope, maybe feeling slightly more motivated. And when you're feeling more hopeful, more motivated, then you're gonna act differently. And when you take different action, you get different results. So here's what I'm gonna challenge you to do. Your day two challenge is to write down all the negative thoughts that you've been having about asking for what you want. And then I want to challenge you to come up with replacement thoughts. So you can put it in the Facebook group like this. Old thought, I suck at this. New thought, I'm learning how to get great at this, right? So I wanna see your old thought, and then I wanna see your new thought. I promise you, this is not the challenge to skip. This Self Coaching 101 methodology will change your entire life, not just for asking for, for anything that you want, any result that you want, you're just a thought away from getting it.